I want to thank you for the introduction. I, I just, first of all, let me just uh, thank each and every one of you for taking the time, for stepping up and stepping in and being here today. And I want to tell you why I'm here. I'm here, most importantly, as a father of four young children. As a father of four young children that's sick and tired of the chaos, the cruelty, the cages, the concrete, sick and tired of zero tolerance, sick and tired of the policies coming out of the White House, Trump and Trumpism. I'm also here, I'm also here as a proud Californian. In downtown Los Angeles, the most diverse city, in the most diverse county, in the most diverse state, California, in the world's most diverse democracy. I don't know about you, but I think the world, the world looks to us, looks to each and every one of you to see that it's possible to live together, to advance together, and prosper together across every conceivable and imaginable difference. What makes California great, Mr. President, what makes California great today is at our best, we don't tolerate that diversity. At our best, we celebrate that diversity. A universal state, California. A state of refuge. A state that's brought in over the last 12 years over 112,000 refugees. A state that's brought in 1,454 refugees just last year, more than any other state Woo! in America. That's California. <laughs> Dr. King, he said it better than anybody else, we're all bound together by a web of mutuality. There's no leak on your side of our boat. We rise and fall together. That's the fundamental value that we as Californians get to share as a majority minority state. But for those of you that are filled with doubt, filled with fear and anxiety about the world we're living in, I want to remind you of another brief tale of California. It wasn't that long ago in 1994. There was a guy in the states like this running for re-election for governor by the name of Pete Wilson. Promoting Proposition 187. Xenophobia, nativism, fear of the other was alive and well in this state. Prop 187 was the only thing on the ballot in 1994. You had three strikes reform. The UC regions was not, were not debating issues around tuition. They were debating about eliminating affirmative action. 1994, the Republican Party in California was in its ascendancy. Fast forward today. Where's the Republican Party in California today? Pete Wilson walked the Republican Party off the same cliff Donald Trump is walking the Republican Party next year. It's a customary jail. Resiliency. We came back because you stepped up. Because you stepped in. You didn't lose faith. You believed in this state. You believed in each other. You didn't roll over. You recognized you had agency. You're not a bystander in this world. We can shape the future. Yes, I will say this. The future happens here first in California. We are America's coming attraction, and we're proud of that. So it's in that spirit of pride and resolve that I want to thank each and every one of you for the work we have in front of us. And I say not just in front of us, because at the end of the day, the future is not just something to experience. It's something to manifest. That future is inside of us. As the Bible teaches us, it's faith and works. So let's all step up. Let's all step in and let us move our feet to a brighter and more enlightened 
future. Focus on our differences, but united around the things that bind us together, our common.